welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Aries Sun Moon and Rising it is um, the last week of September 2017 and this week is the energy vibration from the hurt energies with the hair energies so it's a mystical week as we look at this week this week begins on the 25th until the 1st of October please like share these videos and I want to say to each and every person thank you for the um, Aries who have stayed on and uh, the new Aries who have come by because you see you guys seems to be um, um, the less <laughs> resonating zodiac sign of my readings I am not sure why I guess um, I know why but anyway so ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you for being here and thank you for being back this week you have the energy of the moon it's a mystical week and it's the energy of the moon let me um, no yeah the energy of the moon so this week we have the energy of the moon it's a very positive week it's a mystical week you also have the energy of the world you have uh, three major arcana the two first days of the week is governed or um, the Minda Orconis, but from Wednesday um, it's a week of inner strength for you from Wednesday right back until Sunday you have the energy vibration of the major arcana what does this said what effect does this have on you this is letting you know that the universal angels guides spirit guides um, new beams are coming down that is going to be connecting with you and that is going to be working with you in this week let's see whatever messages that they have um, for you here is um, other messages there's a lot of um, situation thoughts uh, the two, two four days this there's, there's a lot of thoughts there's a lot of situation going on with the energy of the lovers in this week and burden some things this is if you're releasing burden some things this is good because your energy vibration of the moon is coming in with temperance so whatever is happening you're not really one of those mystical signs you are straight as a Harry you're the fire you have no time for that but you need to have balance in this week and listen and connect with your spirit guides this is what it's saying you need to have balance in this week listen to your intuition listen to what is going on around you and connect with your spirit guides okay let's see let's look at what is going on sometimes the energy vibration will show the numbers sometimes they won't sometimes they are focusing up on certain aspects certain things that they want you to look at for yourself the number seven is going to be your energy vibration in this week as we move on um, we're looking at the Queen of Cups okay so let's see who is the Queen of Cups she is the Pisces the Cancer or the Scorpio whatever is happening here the seven of whatever she's have stolen is not going to happen this Queen of Cups have stolen something and it's not going to happen so whoever this a uh, Queen of Cups is whatever she has stolen um, it's not going to help she has stolen something the queen of cups so be aware um, um, of who the queen of cups is because she has stolen something from you so this is someone who is a pisces a pisces a cancer or a scorpion whatever she has stolen um let's see what have this queen of cups of stolen from you but you know she's not going to get away with it because it's in it's in the reverse form so you don't have a, a queen of cups um money money cuz um Rene Deve come up oh okay here we are i'm seeing this picture now this is really happening okay this Queen of Cups is someone that works at an organization or is with you in a situation. She tried to steal something from you, and who she was stealing for is someone who is a Taurus or the Taurus Virgo, 
uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I'm feeling that these two people are Taurus and Gemini this man is a Gemini and this woman is a Taurus woman so now the story is uh, so this could be a situation of you working um, somewhere else you're working somewhere and uh, they ask you this queen of cups the Pisces, um, scorpion or Pisces um, cancer or scorpion woman to steal something from you but it didn't work it, it, it didn't work it didn't work these are the two people that ask this and this cancer this this woman this um, page of cups could be uh, a scorpion woman she tried to steal something for um, a Taurus and a Gemini person and this could be someone who you know or someone you have worked for but it didn't happen it, it, it didn't happen it did not happen <laughs> okay you have won whatever the situation is a five of a sword you have won and you are now taking a break you have won the situation and you're now taking a break and you know I, I laugh and why I laughed about this is because these two people seems to be husband and wife but they're lies and teeth together this is a Taurus woman this is a Gemini man they have been um, um, partners in crime for many years this Scorpio woman didn't have any money and she um, needed extra money and they asked her to steal something from you but it didn't happen so it didn't happen because here you still won and you 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 won whatever they were trying to do whatever lies they have told and whatever this woman was supposed to steal they couldn't steal it because they could she couldn't find it and um, this is a situation where you realize that uh, um, certain aspects and certain things uh, um, happen. And here you are seeing that uh, um, you have won this, uh, whatever the situation was or is. So this is good. As we move forward, we have the energy vibration of uh, um, strength, inner strength. Whatever the situation is with your financial situation, you're going to find inner strength. This is going to be ill because the overcoupling of this inner strength is happening for you, and this is going to be um, positive. As we move forward, we have the energy of debt, which is happening on Tuesday. Energy of debt is bringing in new love in your life, and this is wonderful. The energy of debt is bringing in new love within your life, and this is extremely wonderful as we move forward we are having the energy vibration of the world the situation of the world is here whatever is happening you and the lovers it's going to be wonderful for you and your relationship for some people who are looking um, this is going to be wonderful especially for the married couples and the people who have been coupled for a very long time as we move forward on a Saturday we have the energy of the elephant energy of the elephant has uh, the energy of inner um, of, of, of um, finding strength within a law force is finding strength within this whatever the situation is uh, on Saturday that you have to deal with with an organization you had to find strength within and by finding the strength within you still are going to win because we have La Force is here um, twice, and this is going to happen. You also have the Hermit with the Ten of Wands. You also have the Hermit with the Ten of Wands. Okay, this is why I've always said to you, Aries people, be aware of what you do because whatever you do is going to come back to you and hurt you. Whatever is happening on Sunday, you're looking within yourself and you're thinking, This is a burden. Whatever I have done was being dishonest. This is a burden. I am being, I'm really being, my faith, my faith has been tested. And this is a situation where your fate has been tested um the number eight uh, is going to be your energy vibration number eight is uh, going to be your energy vibration because your um your fate has been tested you aries in this week whatever you have done whatever has transpired whatever has happened um there is a sense that your fate has been tested and it's going to be tested in this week 
Friday is a wonderful day for love love is um, very positive if you're looking for soulmate twin flames it's going to be very wonderful the angels and guides are saying listen to your intuition go within and look at yourself look at what um, the burdens that you have you have actually caused them for yourself because um, you try to get someone to do something that was injustice against another person and you have created karma so whatever the situation is whatsoever you try to have done you have created karma whatever is happening they're saying the third eye chakra I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply the wisdom to my life in my life I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply the wisdom in my life so whenever we see the wisdom of who we are and the things that we do um, and apply it to our lives you um, will be aware and be, will be awakened to um, whatever it is that you need to connect to in this lifetime and this is going to be wonderful and this is where I'm leaving you and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful support and I'm um, saying namaste please remember to like shares and subscribe thumbs up please listen to your Sun Moon Horizon sign I love you until next week